this is another example I'm just recording that uh, uh, apparently this needs injecting. Um, what we've got here is a wall with, as you can see, quite a lot of staining. Um, and there are tide marks on the wall. You can see that tide mark there. Um, if we look at a thermal image, you'll see that there is no difference in temperature. You can see that wall, very constant temperature right through the wall. There's almost no grading except for a dark line about there. Um, and if you look at that line, you look on the wall where that line is, it's just above that connection about there. Now I'll refer back to that. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at this again, the so called damp meter. It's not wet, it's not wet, and then we get to the join and it goes off the scale. There we go, off the scale into the plaster it goes right down comes up here and it's still off the scale and then all of a sudden it drops off and it stops and if you remember it stops on that line there and that line comes around and that is that line there and you can see there is a crack here I don't know if it's possible to see it, but there's a fine hairline crack, and that crack goes up there slightly higher and across the wall. And that crack corresponds with the replastering that's been done, and this is uh, damp proofing plaster that's been put on, and it is causing salt contamination. Now we've got here a curtain that feels absolutely sopping wet to touch uh, and we're on what 58 59 percent relative humidity if we just bung that out actually on this sopping wet curtain it just goes up a tiny bit now we 60 61 so we we're two points of relative humidity up No moisture. Might get a bit there. No. Going down. Or just a fraction. 60. If this was going to show anything, it would be off the scale. That's back to our normal. So it's about one point above room humidity. 1% uh, relative humidity more. Um, that's the curtain. So basically you have very little moisture in there. So there you go. Uh, it's all salts. It's on a chimney. Salt derived. Nothing to do with rising down.